All right, Vision Buddies, day two, iCast 2021. Second video in the series. I'm gonna get out here today on the floor. Go try to find some smaller company products, some new stuff coming out for 2022 that might be interesting. Let's get it out there. All right, fishing buddies. I'm here with Scott from Porterod. I saw this and I thought of y'all. The transportation device. Scott's gonna run this, run over this with us. Tell us how this works, why it's different from the others. And my big question is, um, I like to transport my kayak in the back of the truck. Is this gonna be able to fit? Am I gonna be able to adjust that to get the kayak in there when I'm doing kayak fishing? Or is this just standard for surf fishing? How are you doing? So yes, the answer to all your questions is compatible not only for surf fishing but also for kayak handling as well. And the nice thing about our system is it is customizable to your needs. So it comes standard with three or five rod holders, but you can add additional rod holders to it. Um, and you can also adjust the angle. So if you have a kayak, if you want it in the middle, you can slide your rod holders to the sides, put your kayak in, or if it's on top. You can adjust these and angle it and, and, and space them however you want. The nice thing about it as well is, is it is easy in, easy out. It fits any truck, whether you have a Tacoma or a Tundra or a Chevy. You, it's all you do is get the angle that you want and you simply ratchet it in. Oh, place. nice, nice. And any kind of maintenance, like, you know, we're, we're dealing with a lot of salt water here, Scott. So would you suggest any maintenance over time? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, it is a, it is metal. It is moving parts. So you're going to want to freshwater rinse if you get it um, wet with just, salt water and so lubricate just, periodically. So basically, I can leave the rods in the holders when I get home and then just water hose the whole thing, just like I'm doing my rods anyway. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely can. Um, so the nice thing about this as well is it's designed to go up against the cab wall. That way you can adjust and secure. If you have a folding tonneau cover or if you have a wrap that goes on top, um, if you have an additional support bar, you can move it throughout the bed of the truck. So if you want to fold or roll your tonneau cover, you can roll it, keep everything dry and secure and hidden underneath. And then angle it to go just above your tailgate on the back secure it down and go fishing with that. Nice, where can they find you? Uh, we are in porterod.com um, is the main place. We have several locations as well as far as retailers are concerned, working on getting more. So if your local shop doesn't have it, let them know about us as well and we'd like to get it in there. Scott, how secure is the porterod? You know, I mean, is this thing gonna slip on me when I'm going 60 miles an hour down the road? No, absolutely won't slip. It, it is extremely secure. Um, I drive on the highway with it constantly. That's one of the main reasons why I designed it. Was a for the highway, but then also on the back roads to get to my favorite spots. Uh, the nice thing about it as well is, as far as security is concerned, is we do have locks available as well. So you can lock the system to the truck. That way, you know, we can walk away with it while you are fishing. But we also have the locks that can be used for um, locking your reels and rods to the system as well. So you, what we recommend is use one to secure to the truck and then another one, at least one other, to take the lock off, string it through your, your rods and reels, and secure those down as well. Oh, you nice. You can use one for multiple reels, or you can do individually as well. But it gives you the ability to stop at the gas station, get a bite to eat, go into the tackle shop, get what you need. Let me tell you, Scott, one of my biggest things is when I'm done fishing, like I'm going to stop at the store, and I never do because of my rods. I always go home and unload everything and then come back to the store. Awesome. I will link the website uh, in the description of this video. This is right up our alley, fishing buddies. We need stuff like this. Thanks, Scott. No problem. We appreciate it. All right, fishing buddies. I'm here with Bo from Jacksonville with the Sea Works. I love this stuff. I see my local tackle shop um, at Lost Key Outdoors at Perdido. <laughs> you know Clint? <laughs> and um. And I've been using it for months. Clint from Lost Key Outdoors turned me on to it. And I was a little skeptical because it was cheap as far as pricing. And I was like, man. And I was like, so he actually gave me a spool. And I've been back ever since. So Bo's going to do some rundown. He's going to talk about some of his products here. 
at ICAST 2021. Hey man, so we're at ICAST 2021, uh, SeaWorks Fishing. This is our first year at ICAST. Uh, we're just showcasing a few of our products. Uh, I was going to go over a few things for you guys with the pop fishing, uh, flounder fishing, trout, redfish, sheep's head. We got some really good products. Some of our most commonly sold items for Pompano fishing is going to be the Mutsu Light Circle Hook. We have them from a size 2 all the way up to 8 0 for the guys offshore fishing. This is going to be great for the Pompano fishing. Um, anything, any type of surf fishing, whether it be Pompano or whiting, uh, this is going to be a great hook. It's a light gauge, it still holds up. You know, it's going to flow with your bait pretty well. That flow's going to hold it up off the bottom. That's a great hook for that. For the, the inshore, for say sheep's head, flounder fishing, trout fishing, we have a live bait straight eye hook. This in the Northeast Florida is one of the most popular hooks for us. Uh, whether you're fishing live mullet, you're fishing shrimp, uh, sand fleas, fiddlers for the sheep's head. We also have a short shank hook. Um, it's on our website. It's in pretty much most of the shops, uh, especially in your area. I do believe lots of people carries those also. Those are great hooks for, you know, natural bait. Um, so those are two of the great options, the most commonly sold hook for us. We do have circle hooks for the offshore guys if you have it. We have perfect circles that do go down to a 1-0 if that's what you prefer for your popping out rigs. And then we are introducing uh, a new product this year, ICAST. It just came out. We have a lot of people using the fluorocarbon. You guys have given us a ton of positive feedback. But we do have something over here we go we're introducing for the guys time to pop no rigs. Uh, we now have SeaWorks monofilament meter line. We have it from 10 pound up to 400 pound. Um, so nice. anything from the inshore super light tackle, whether it's uh, salt water, fresh water, you know, bass fishing, pompano fishing, or all the way up to shark fishing from the beach, we have it up to 400 pounds. That comes in a 50 and 100 yard spool. Uh, it's going to be in line if you're used to the SeaWorks pricing for the fluorocarbon. It's going to be just as good for the monofilament meter line. Awesome, Bo. I didn't know about the mono. Clint doesn't have the mono, bro. I'm going to have to get on him. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I love your stuff. Absolutely, man. I'll see you soon. All right, fishing buddies. I'm here with Jim from TFO Rods. You guys you guys know TFO because they're huge in the area. Pensacola, Orange Beach. They did a they did a, a giveaway for the Pop Stop this spring. They're in the local tackle shops all around town. I know they're in Lost Key Outdoors over there with Clint. So I'm over here with the Surf Rod Series, and Jim's going to give us a rundown of them real quick. Uh, this is our Surf Rod Series. We make this anywhere from an 8 foot up to a 12 foot. we will cast up to 12 ounces. Uh, one of the hot rods I'm, I'm here in your area right now is this 8 rod for casting uh, spins, jacks, pompano. Uh, if you don't have lots of chips, probably far past that third second cut, that's probably your stick. We make a nine foot and a ten and a half foot. And we're also great for casting lures off of the beach. Uh, usually rated up to about four and four and a half ounces on those two. A um, couple of bigger models. We've got a ten and a half foot uh, medium heavy, which is uh, one of the real popular rods in the uh, canal fishing for strikers up there in New England, as well as the uh, this eleven. 11 foot rod. Uh, we also make a lower foot rod that's uh, up right up three ounces. So if you guys are really throwing uh, XP type lures, that's a very good rod for that as well. And then if you're keeping big chunks of cut bait, 12, 12 footer, four to 12 ounces, um, have fun casting that. <laughs> <laughs> But that's your that's your big workhorse right there. Let me ask you about the ten and a half footer. What made y'all go ten and a half and not just ten or the eleven? Jerry Lewis was helping us design these yeah. rods as the visual ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. We kind of stuck with it. Okay. I like the idea of the ten and a half foot rod. I haven't seen that much. I mean, it's usually ten foot or the eleven foot. I've never seen the ten and a half foot. Can you tell me the history behind that? Well, you know, when we first started doing these, uh, Gary Lewis. Um, helped us design them, his pattern already, and he actually came out with a 9, a 10 and a half, and an 11 foot, or original for these surf rods. And, and they become so popular, the 10 and a half foot length for us, we're just sticking with them. It makes sense. I'm, I'm stuck in that dilemma. Do I want the 10, do I want the 11? And uh, it was a hard decision for me when I was getting some rods built by Frisky Fins, and I ended up going 12. <laughs> so the 10 and a half option, is sweet because I'm running two 12s and two 10s and the 10s seem a little small for me. I might upgrade them to the 10 and a half. 
Jim, I appreciate the time, brother. You bet, man. Thank we, you so much. We love your stuff in the panhandle, brother. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, fishing buddies. I'm here with Scott from Keys Deep. This caught my eye. It reminded me of my time I spent the keys, so I wanted to know what this this apparel was all about, and Scott's going to explain it. Keys Deep is uh, it's actually a lifestyle, and uh, the people that come down to the Keys, they fall in love with it. And this, this brand and this line is all uh, divinely inspired. Uh, it was a gift given to me in my head over the period of six years. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to give back to the Keys. And I just absolutely want to give back to the restoration of the reefs and the water. And I thought, what a way to give back to my hometown. So I got a guy, Sammy Malazzo, involved with me. He does uh, all custom artwork. He's an artist and he's a fisherman down in Alamada. And uh, he works on the vice versa. It's got a great artwork. I love the mission behind this, the restoration of the reefs. I mean, giving back. Where can, uh, where can the people find this product, Scott? You can actually purchase it online at uh, keysdeep.com, on Facebook, on Instagram. You can go to uh, about 13 stores down in Alma, but uh, we're getting ready to take it further down the Keys. If you happen to see this and like our apparel, it's made in the USA, sewn and sublimated right in Miami, and uh, it's absolutely quality stuff. Awesome, Scott. I appreciate you taking the time, man. I'll, um, I'm going to link your website in the description of this video. So people can come and go in there, plug in. You guys looking for a new hat, looking for a new cool uh, fishing shirt, check out Scott's stuff. It goes back to the reefs. Hey, all right, fishing buddies. I'm here with Taylor with Ocean Wave Sunglasses. I recognize this company because they're in the Fish Bites Trading Post. And I couldn't remember where I saw them, but then I was reminded. Taylor's going to break them down for us. So we've been a local uh, sunglass company out of Jacksonville, Florida for the last 40 years. We started in 1979. We specialize in glass fishing lenses using clear and brown glass. All of our mirrors and coatings are sandwiched between the glass and you can actually take the glasses off the wall. Take my keys without scratching any of the lenses. Use the clear crown glass, whereas our competitors they use what's called blue glass. Uh, blue glass actually, uh, what it does is uh, it enhances uh, in an unnatural way certain colors. Uh, I like to explain it as sitting uh, three feet in front of a 70 inch high def TV and watching it for eight hours. After you know those eight hours, you're gonna have a headache, you're gonna have eye fatigue. With clear crown glass, you don't get that. Um, Aside from just plain old lenses, we also offer prescriptions in both single vision and progressive with our glass lenses. Um, runs generally about $4.99. It's $4.99 for single vision, $6.99 for the progressive. Uh, we can do that in any of the glass lenses that we have. Uh, if you're interested, send us over your prescription. We can get a look and take a look at it, tell you what's uh, what it fits best and get you the solution. Also, can they? Um you guys are on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff? Yes, you can follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, at Ocean Wave Sunglasses. Uh, check us out. We normally post uh, you know, any kind of sales specials, uh, shows we'll be attending, uh, and any kind of new products that come out. Uh, uh, first, the first thing is on social media, so check us out. Awesome, brother. I appreciate it. All right, fishing buddies. Talking to John here from Hitch, Hitchfire. This caught my eye when I was walking by because it had the pompano on the grill. And I was looking at this setup here. On the back of the trailer hitch. And I thought, what a great idea for the kayak camping trips, things like that. So John's going to give us a rundown on it. We're going to see how this operates and try to get a price on this thing. Okay, so this is the Forge 15 grill, 15,000 BTUs. And it comes with the grill and the swing arm and attaches to any two inch trailer hitch. This lives on the back of your car. After you go grilling, you don't want to put your sticky, smelly grill in your car. And so we think it should belong in the back of your car. But what we're doing is we're building out life around the hitch. So it starts with the grill 
even got accessories like a side burner table. We have our new cutting board, fish cleaning station. Uh, we have a, a two, inch, two inch hitch extender. And we also have an adapter hose. So you can either use the little green bottles here or you can use an adapter hose for a big 20 pound or, or five pound gas bottle. John, how much does this thing weigh? The grill itself weighs 32 pounds. The whole box is 72 pounds. That's with the swing arm. With the swing arm. Yep. Now, I see this is on the back of a pickup truck. Would this you would this would this work with an SUV? Absolutely. It works with any car with a two-inch trailer hitch. In fact, you see a lot of even on an RV where people don't want to be cooking indoors. They want to be outside with the family cooking and grilling. So this works great on the back of the car or RV, and you can also buy an adapter, so you can still tow a trailer and have this also plugged into your trailer hitch. Wow. Now, let's say my my SUV, the, the tailgate, swing a, a certain direction, like a right or left. Is this interchangeable? This particular swing arm only swings to the right. We do have ones that swing to the left. Okay, so you would just kind of line it up to whatever whatever it works for you. Whatever model you have. Yeah. yeah, a lot of Jeeps need it to swing to the left, and that's why we brought in the new left. Awesome, awesome. I think this thing is awesome, man. Thank um, you. Like I said, I do a lot of kayak camping, yep. and I'm, I'm lugging the little grills and things like that, and what an awesome little accessory to have. Hooked up to the back of the truck already, ready to cook dinner. That's right. I appreciate it, John. Hey, thanks a lot. All right, fishing buddies, that does it. I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> Gonna go home, get some rest, and then pump it back up to Perdido in the morning. About a nine hour trip. You guys are enjoying the videos? Hit me a like, hit me a subscribe. Really helps out the rhythm of the channel. And check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram. Until next time, guys.